What is going on guys, boy CG here and welcome back to a brand new game. This time we are playing Firewatch. It's another series that I am going to do and I watched the trailer and I have to say they've done a good job with the trailer. It got me interested and it's very very mysterious. All I know about this is that I'm a, I'm still, I'm a ranger in a park and I hope this is more towards survival but I'm not sure what I'm going to expect throughout this game so this is also my first time so let's go on this journey together guys and let's do this You see Julia, okay. Okay, and then, let me click. She's about your age. Late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry out drinking with your pal you approach her mm, okay it sounds like a love story over here you are drunk oh okay so I'm actually talking to her so since I'm drunk I would say you yeah, let's go with that you're pretty You are pretty. She says coolly. You are not. You are future hangover. What? Oh, okay. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. Huh. Okay. That kind of worked. Right, so I guess get in the car. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountain. You do drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Cheers to that mate. So Julia wants to get a dog. It's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle like German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's better. And I don't know, I think I'm going to go with Beagle. Ah, okay. Talk on the deck, it's somewhere 9.30pm and the heat still is of the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asked. Kids? Tougher to idiot. Okay, so she is asking this question, yeah? So which means she is ready. But by looks of it, I am not ready. You know what? I'm going. I'm going to go with her choice for this. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably the best that their parents are hitched. 
Well, okay, yep, yeah, I agree. Right, so the graphics are top notch, to be honest, and total fair create hit. So do not forget to check in no firework. All right. So we're going on a trip. Nice. Okay. It's a 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call you again, getting angry about me. She walks in after we've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly having a fun time. We fight when she get between the sheets. Huh, okay. Both choices are going to go bad, I feel, but get mad or ignore. Get mad or ignore. I mean, if I get mad, it means I'm caring for her. If I ignore, I'm mad, but it's just I don't give a shit. Okay, I, I think I'll go for get mad. Oh, okay, I guess that's that's a bad thing. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You know what? Nothing beats humor. So I'm going to go for the Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> yeah, she was right. Indeed. I am pretty. Wow, this is, this is actually a very beautiful game, to be honest. I mean, the sunset. Okay, wait, is there a sunrise or sunset? I'm not sure, but. Wow. I mean, the, the light effect and such. Woo, this is good. Alright. So, you're still in the tutorial stage. Climbing over stuff. Damn, that is beautiful. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you off with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. But va bi ba fuck the lock. Julia yells. So since she's yelling, I'm gonna repeat it. Va bi ba fuck the dog. Um, so she yells so she gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed she confronts the attacker obviously I'm gonna beat his face for kicking the dog Yam gets cut up by beat the gut to a pulp you don't feel very tough you cry your eyes out before the cops show up you ask to take a different part from that day forward you say okay you don't want to go that way either from then on you walk by the river Right. Plans to have kids get way late by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale, Yale in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You, abs you absolutely do not. I mean, it's, if it's if it's good for her, then she should go. <laughs> Alright. We are sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. An episode? She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She, she didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior she was found crying in the stairwell i think i should make my granny and drink wine all right it worked that's good that's good okay let's pick up journal 
okay so that's um, that, that's me like a model I guess Bucket is getting older Julia comments that it's kind of nice because she gets in less trouble around the house a week later she goes back to the university 1987 Julia's affliction gets worse she can't remember things in her class her research is in shambles she drives a car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police she is devastated sent home on permanent leave medical leave some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children the idiot other days you get a stranger in, she pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes she gets into panic ring her dad said no oh, oh wow okay tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from the house in Australia to visit her but why your friends come by and wait little things to buy ten today she gets worse spend your days following Julia around the house you count the seconds being two weekly visit from Daniel the nurse he suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with a 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. No, I, I would take care, take care of her myself. I mean, I love her for a reason, so why not? No to homes, bro. I mean, this is so beautiful. I can't jump. I can't jump. Oh, okay. Hey there. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. Hmm. She goes to sleep, stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. Start going out after you put her to bed. First thing you do is you worry about her getting out and walking around while you're gone. Right, so you put a chair in front of the bedroom door, you trust her. Yeah, I, I probably should trust her. Get Good. Okay, uh, you go to the same bar, boring and attack she you tell Sheila the button and everything, excuse it off. Okay. One night you're stopped at this you DUI checkpoint, you blow a point ten and take it to jail for a night. Okay. Julia Pennant Take the next plane. Oh my god, this is a lot of reading. So you guys go ahead and read. I'm just gonna chill. Alright. So I think this is all for today try to keep the video as short as possible so that I can upload more and um, that is all for today I think for st for starting as, as, a, as the beginning of the video the story is pretty progressive and um, I think this takes place after Julia's death or maybe she sent to her home I'm not sure so maybe he, this guy is like trying to find ways to make himself useful or what i'm not sure so we will progress in this uh soon so thank you for watching guys if you enjoy the video do like and subscribe because i'll be uploading more of this and uh see ya thank you again bye bye